and it's been about a week or two since I've done a video I didn't realize where the time has gone eggplants are a lot bigger the one bug in my last video that was nibbling on the leaves wow brought all his friends around so now we have multiple bug bites cannot find them I'm sus on any butterfly shoe that wants to lay eggs on any of my plants <laughs> but it is what it is so we have some flowers woo and flowers mean eggplants soon there's that butterfly bugger off butterfly wow so the butterfly I'm guessing is laying eggs caterpillars will eat my plants yes we are going to wait for that butterfly to come back but Flowers mean that we're going to have eggplants. We still do not have our thousand eggplant seeds that we ordered a week and a bit ago, and they have not turned up. Painful, painful, but that's okay. It is getting very hot too. We are in southeast Queensland. This is the first time I'm growing food in pots. They're pots, they're food. And my tamarillo does not like the heat. It is drooping leaves. I did water it last night. I might just have to move it away from the sun. It gets early morning sun, which is about now, 10 a.m. or so. As the sun moves over, it's shaded. But I think the first three or four hours of sun is not making it happy. So I might have to move that. Everything else seems fine. My vines are growing way too fast. I was supposed to fit these along that fence and have like a little trellis thing for them these are all the passion fruit vines i think i've got like five or six of the things or something like that look how much that has grown in the last week and a bit so i really need to get that sorted before they just creep and destroy everything yeah at least they're growing they're not dying so that's wonderful my berries are going well as well my raspberry has new leaves there it is oh Fawnless Chester. Fawnless Chester is going well with new leaves as well, as well as well. And my boysenberry, which has got stupid spikes to it, is going okay. <laughs> Apparently in a lot of the world, they are a nightmare and they grow too much. Probably not going to grow too much for me, but we'll see how we go. Mr. Chili, Mr. Niger Boot Cookie White, whatever it is, has also had a huge growth spurt. Can't even see one chili on it. My capsicums around the other side are going super well, so we'll show you those in a bit. All this is growing well. The plants that I got last video from Maddie are okay as well. Okay, well they're better than okay. That's that pepino thing, which is apparently a giant shrub with weird stuff to it. There is my ice cream bean. There is Benji growling. Stop growling, Benji. <sighs> They are all going well. I have repotted a few of them. Well, hold on. And that was Benji with the postman. Settle, Benji. Come here, quick. Psst, come here. Come on. Come on. Did that mean postman go near you? <laughs> what is it with dogs and post people? Yes, my pawpaws are going super well. There's Mr. Gold. See, he's not that exciting. But there's Mr. Bisexual Red and Bisexual Gold. They have new leaves. Yay, new leaves. The older leaves have got bigger, which is kind of weird because you'd think the new leaves would grow bigger, but they don't. I'm new to pawpaws, can you tell? <laughs> My Cape Gooseberry has little husky gooseberry things now. Okay, that bug there, which I thought was a lady beetle, is not a lady beetle go away they have been eating my plants i need to google what that beetle is <sighs> we're having so much fun i tell you strawberries look i have more strawberries these are growing incredibly fast they weren't strawberries a week ago now they're strawberries i need to move those before something eats them as well my blueberries kind of suck I think blueberries just take a long, long time. If you know anything about blueberries, comment down below because I know nothing about blueberries. I know they're a cold weather thing, but this is a subtropics one. It is growing pretty well. I am watering it, but the blueberries look exactly the same as they did weeks ago. I don't know, maybe they just take a long time, much like the fruit trees. We have new leaves, we have the same fruit, 
That is a lemon. You're a lemon, mate. They don't really grow. So maybe they need more water. I'm probably just not watering them enough, but that's okay. I haven't really done anything with this area. I do have my potatoes planted. They have just started sprouting. There they are on the screen. Look at that. We have sprouts. I thought I planted them too deep and they weren't going to sprout, but they have sprouted pretty much today. <laughs> uh, my dirt apple things, those are the banana dirt apple things, are going well. Yeah, I do need to move all this still. I'm thinking I'm going to get a, another sort of frame, build the frame along here, move all these bromeliads. Oh, it is hot in the sun at the moment. This is early morning too, and it is hot. Look at Benji, what are you doing? So I need to move all that. I think put the shade cloth over here, and then all the stuff that fries in Queensland sun can go under the shade cloth. I think that's going to be a lot more sensible than having it in full sun. All my cactus, I have just about repotted all my cactus because they were in the lawn. They did not cope with the lawn, so heaps of them got bacterial and scarred and stuff like that. But lots of new shoots. We're going to now baby all the cactus as well as every other single plant we have. <laughs> and hope they look 100 times better in the next month or two. So if you're watching this now, and you haven't seen any new videos, jump to the new videos, which I haven't made in this video yet, and hopefully it looks a hundred times better. We probably had a storm and all this stuff will be dead. Let's hope not. But we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> uh, my figs are going well. There are new shoots on all the figs. Yay! That means I'm not killing them. That's wonderful my what are these these are the carob trees aren't they yes i have repotted the carob trees that we had from last last week it wasn't last week it was a week and a bit ago so carob trees from maddie they are all there i'm not too sure if they're full sun i ask and it's like yeah they're okay maybe not and it's like okay well we'll find out if they're okay or not won't we with whether they're okay or not so far they're okay i did buy a whole lot of tomatoes from the supermarket because you can cut the tomato open wash the seeds and plant them yeah. <laughs> who would have even thought that is my original tomatoes pretty lame there was like a, what, a germination of i don't know 14 or something like that 15 16 i didn't wash the seeds i just put the tomatoes under the dirt like sliced them put them under the dirt and away they went and that's all that happened. Don't eat my tomato, Benji. So far, he hasn't realized he can eat any of these plants. This is the tomatoes from... This is the tomatoes? Is that even English? These are the tomato plants I germinated about three or four days ago. There's more than 14, 15. <laughs> so I'm just going to let them get a little bit bigger and separate them. I kind of went crazy, did more yesterday and more yesterday so in the next couple of days hopefully they will just go vump. so next video you'll probably see all them sprouted like that i think it's like six different types of tomatoes don't ask me what type they were just assorted tomatoes but look at that how exciting is that it's like a carpet we should actually get rid of the grass which is not going to stay get this and just have thousands of these. These are the Santa Claus melon, that thing, which I brought from the supermarket just to plant the seeds. I don't like melons. I just wanted to grow one because they're kind of weird. Yeah. What happened about a week after I planted the seeds is all the dirt lifted up. I touched the dirt and then that happened. All those were underneath the dirt. So that actually pushed the dirt up because I think I planted way, way too many seeds. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun, I tell you. Yes, a day later looked like that, and now they look like this. So I probably need to separate them soon. Otherwise, I think they just suck all the nutrients away from each other in the dirt, and then you get good ones survive, and then bad ones kind of survive. I don't know. We're going to separate them soon, so... Ah! Did... Okay. So, I don't 
point to the plants when Benji's around because he'll just eat them. You ate my plant. Good thing it's not one of the cactus, eh? So, that is where we were with that. Those three pots there are my ginger that have not sprouted yet, but it's only been about a week and a bit. So I think another week or two before it decides to do its thing. In there, there are four, what are they called? Avocado seeds. We'll see if they germinate. I think they take a hundred years to turn into avocados, but you know, they're there. Why not do that instead of just chucking them away? I have repotted lots more cactus. Now you're in the shade, Benji. All these poor cactus are now repotted. Hopefully they will start to perk up soon. I have a temporary shade house. Now I have kept plants for years and years and years and years and years. Mostly euphorbia, different types of cactus. Euphorbia is like a cactus, but it's toxic. Yay, awesome African plants. So I have countless, countless different types of those. I did get some other cool plants though. I got these, which I'm not gonna point to because Benji will eat them. And they are a Mexican dream plant that apparently helps enhance dreams. I don't know. I just got them. So I've got that one, I've got that one. They're both Mexican. That is a lovely South American plant. That is, oh, it's not ragwort, it's something like that. It's names on the screen. This is from, I think they say China and the UK. And it's grown for all sorts of weird stuff. Don't ask me, I just got one. It is there, looks like a weed, grows like a weed. Technically it's a weed. <laughs> Yeah, and, oh, 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 up here, a luffa. I've got those, so I think I need to repot them into bigger pots. I'll do that in the next couple of days. They turn into a giant vine. They're those weird fruit things that you can apparently wash yourself with. Oh, I don't know. Did not buy them. I was gifted these. My fish mint has grown. You would hope it would grow, wouldn't you? That's the whole idea of all of this, is things to grow. But my fish mint, and I didn't know, apparently tastes like fish. Ooh. I haven't tried it yet because obviously they're free tiny little plants. So when they get bigger, I will try some of that. Fish mint's going well. And my free purple tamarillos. I don't know if they should be so elongated though. Maybe there's not enough light here. I'm not too sure. Comment down below. Should I have them in more light and, you know, slowly bring them into the light? I know not to just take them out of semi-light and then put them into full sun because they'll just fry. But that is where we are with that. I've got a few vines and stuff. South American vines I'm propagating just for the fun of it. What we need to show you now is the lettuce. Ho, ho, ho. Eggplants are going well. Oh. And that is my chocolate mint. I have not tried any yet. It's only small. Compared to my mint plant, which is ridiculously large, I think they just take longer to grow. I'm not too sure. Coffee plant going well. Look at the lettuce. Look at them. That is ridiculous. It is a bit too hot here for lettuce and rhubarb and what was that stuff? I think. Silver bee, yes, silver bee. Apparently the lettuce will still grow, but it tastes horrible in the heat. So I don't know if it's the heat or the water. If you know, can you comment down below? Because I have no idea. I could do an aquaponic system with the lettuce. So if it's the water issue, that might solve that problem, but I have no idea. Rhubarb hopefully will grow before it gets too hot because we are just in spring now and spring and summer is super, super hot here. So I don't think anyone grows this stuff here in spring and summer. <sighs> no idea, eh? Um, that is my parsley. I don't know what I'm doing with parsley as a garnish. What am I garnishing? Who knows? My basil. These, these are the variegated peppers that you saw in the last video. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. Look how much they've grown. It's only been a week or so, but the first variegated pepper is variegated. It's getting more variegated by the day. There is another one there, another one there, another one there. And my little dwarf peppery things are turning to peppery things. How exciting is that? I also think they are getting too much sun they get early morning sun, but then the sun goes over. 
but I think it's just too hot for them. I think they should only have a few hours, maybe. I'm not too sure. Again, comment down below if you know about sun and that. Variegated plants obviously don't like the sun as well as normal plants. And lettuce hates the sun. Whoops. I think they want less sun than what we have. I have no idea. Uh, my grapes are going well. They're taking a little while to grow, so I think they don't get as enough sun. It's all over the place. I'm still learning what needs sun, what doesn't need sun, what needs water. Probably that poor, poor tamarillo, which is looking a bit sad. And I just, oh yeah, you have drooped heaps. What is that? Oh my God, aphids. No. We gotta get rid of these aphids. Hold on a second. And the aphids are gone. Okay, so the ants and the aphids, they pretty much, the ants farm the aphids, get the nectar from the aphids, and just protect them. Little buggers. Look how droopy that's got in the last hour or so. Okay, too much sun for my tamarillo, so I'm gonna have to move my tamarillo into the shade. That is definitely being moved because it's only gonna get warmer and warmer. <sighs> this is how we learn. Don't keep your tamarillo in morning sun any more than a few hours because otherwise it will go droopy and sad. Hmm, I'm pretty sure it's sun and not the heat because it's only like about a, a 26, 27 degree day today. That's Celsius, so work that out in Fahrenheit if you're not watching from a Celsius country. Haha, <laughs> need to move you, need to move them, need to move all that. Anyway, that is our quick update of what has happened in the garden. <sighs> Let's see what happens next week. I do have more trees turning up. I don't even know what trees I've got turning up. So I've got to move all this stuff around so I've got more room. <laughs> so far, everything is going well, apart from a few things getting eaten. But yeah, you get that. I'm not going to spray them or anything. Those are so red, those strawberries. I need to get them out of there before the birds wherever those birds were, see them and eat them. Probably just need a couple of cockatoos to come down and destroy the whole garden. Let's hope they don't see the very loud car. Let's hope the cockatoos don't see the garden or are interested in it. But they haven't been interested in the cactus for a long, long time. So yes, I'm pretty sure one cockatoo could destroy this whole garden super quick. What is that? Oh look. Now you're okay, that is a baby praying mantis. We want you because you can eat the bugs that eat our plants. They don't eat plants, they eat the bugs. Good praying mantis. Anyway, we will see you in the next video. Here is our quick update. Any comments, comment down below, that would be wonderful. Click the thumbs up if you want another weird garden video. <laughs> We're having so much fun. Baby orange, baby orange.